Welcome friends to Unstop Java Solutions. I am Sneasis and today I am going to explain you about the TCS Proctored Assessment of 3rd July. Okay, so first read the assessment carefully. So here is the assessment. Okay, so if you see you have to create a naval vessels class with the below attributes. Okay, these are the attributes and then you have to set the means write the setter and getter methods okay and you have to create the constructor which will take the uh, parameters in above sequence except the classification so except classification you have to uh, pass the attribute this five okay then you have to create the solution class with main method okay so first i am going to eclipse and then here you can see youtube demo this project i have already created so inside src i am creating one package okay so I am creating one package and giving the package name as TCS PA TCS PA and it's the third July third July okay and inside this package I am creating one class Java class with name solution so this is your public class and this class will contain the main method so your java class file also you have to save with this name okay so and creating the main method inside this class and click on finish okay so i have created the solution class here okay and then you see create a method solution class and you have to create the naval vessel class this class you have to create okay so here i am creating the novel vessel class so outside this class create another class and this is normal class not the public one and inside this novel vessels class i am declaring this attribute okay declaring this attribute give semicolon and for oops if you follow the oops page then it's good to declare this attribute as private okay and means if you declare this as a private if you declare this as a private okay so this variable also required in your main method so i'm copying this and here inside the main method need this so i am writing this here as well okay so these are the if you want to declare those as a private then outside of this class you cannot directly access this attribute you have to use the, this using the setter and getter method okay so declare all as private and then i am declaring the setter and getter method so for you can use the eclipse features to declare the setter and getter methods so just right click go to source and here generate getter and setter method select all attributes okay select all and click on ok so setter and getter so setter and getter basically means if you see any set method like get classification so that means you whatever the values of the classification this is a string type so we are returning that return classification okay and this setter and getter method always you have to write means uh, public because this method you have to access outside of this class so that's why we are make this as a public and also set classification so while you are setting the classification value so we are passing this parameter classification and we are adding these dot classification equal to classification that means current class what is the current object current object will contain the classification variable so this variable we are storing the value what whatever we will passing okay so like this way you are writing the setter and getter methods and then you have to declare the constructor so for that again go to source and generate constructor using fields okay and here the last one you have to unselect okay you have to means uncheck this checkbox okay so 
classification because this parameter you have to pass so click on ok so it will create the constructor for this class naval vessels and constructors would, don't have the any return type okay and it takes the this parameter in sequence except here you can see it will create the constructor in above sequence except the classification so except classification all we are setting all the variables okay passing all the variables I, this is a parameter constructor parameter is constructor so we are sending all the variables and storing that values okay inside this class okay so th this class implementation is done then go back to main method and here you can see create a class solution with main method implement two static methods okay so main method i already created and then you have to write two static methods okay one is this one so this is your main method and after that i am writing one public method public static return type i will check what you have to write and then i will do and another one also public static and this method name is find vessel by grid okay so i am declaring these two means defining these two method return type i will add later okay in solution and the first method if you see find average voyages by packed method this method will take two input parameters array of naval vessels object and in parameter okay so it's take a naval vessel object array so we are creating a object of this method nb suppose array nb array and then int percentage okay so i am giving the same name so int percentage so this uh, this will take two parameters find voyage okay this is the first one hmm. find voyages by percentage so this is the first one so copy this and paste here and same also you have to write for the second one you can see okay so first i am implementing the first one so implement static method solution and pack method this method will two input parameters in this and this this method will return the average of the non voyages completed attribute from naval vessels object which meet the percentage requirement as mentioned below okay so this is the percentage calculation formula so that i will use later so it will here you can write int average equal to zero okay initially we are and return average and here this method will return one integer okay so this is the first method later i will implement the body of this method and second one okay here you can see this method will take a string parameter purpose and array of naval vessels object so the first one is same and second one is string string and this is the purpose another string matches and with purpose okay string parameter purpose so along with purpose paste it and this method will return this method will return the naval vessels object okay one naval vessels object so here i am writing naval vessels nv okay and nv and initially we are assigning null and returning return nv okay and here it will return this so return type would be naval vessels okay so these two method signature is done and then i will implement the body letter so before implementing the object this part you have to do implement these two methods and here you can see before calling this method you return the values now then it should print no naval vessels is available before calling the static method in main the scanner object read the values from four naval vessels objects okay 
so here I have already declared the variables and from inside the main method I am declaring the scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in so using the scanner class what we will do we will take the input from console okay and um, store in this variable and then create the object of naval vessels okay create the object of naval vessels class okay and store in a naval vessels object so using scanner for using scanner class you have to import the java.util package because it is inside java.util package so we are importing the java.util package okay and then you have to create the naval vessels array okay so here i am creating nv array copying from here equal to new naval vessels and size is 4 because you have to store 5 object so i have created an object and then use the for loop using for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus what i will do i will create the means i will take the parameters in this order okay so first one is the string so this is a vessels id so if it vessels id equal to sc dot so this is an integer so next int okay so we will taking means um, take the parameters from console and store in vessels id then the vessels name so vessels name is string so vessels name equal to sc dot next line okay so here uh, means after reading the integer if you try to read string then you have to write one extra line here sc dot next line okay so first you have to use this sc dot next line and then you have to read vessel name equal to sc dot next line so this you have to do after reading the integer if you try to read the string object okay so then you have to use this sc dot next line okay. and then third one is the integer so this fourth one also number of voyages completed this also integer so this one then third one is the string okay so this is equal to sc dot next int because these are the integers so you have to use sc dot next int this method and this also integer so sc dot next int then the third one string purpose okay so for purpose you have to use sc dot next line okay so you have to use this sc dot next line again after reading integer you are try to read the string so that's why you have to use this one again okay so this is done and after reading those these attribute values then you have to create the object and store in this array okay in the array so naval vessels inside this naval vessels array you have to create an object nv array i equal to new new then you have to call this constructor using this variable and the this constructor you have to call with this attribute in this sequence okay so i am copying from here and pasting here just remove this variable int then remove this string so that's why i take give the same name in same variable name so that it will you don't have to write everything you have to just you can copy paste okay so this is your constructor so by using this constructor we are basically creating an object and storing in this array okay so in this way this loop will execute four times and it will create four object and store in this nb array okay and after this loop inside this main method you can see that object will attribute in above mentioned attribute except the classification next read the values for percentage and purpose okay so here percentage so 
this is the classification is not required so for that int use this variable percentage so after that you have to read two values one is percentage and another is purpose okay so percentage and purpose so okay percentage and purpose so percentage is integer so sc use sc dot next int and purpose is string so for reading purpose you use you have to use sc dot next line and again here is after reading the integer you are trying to read the string so you have to use sc dot next line once again okay so this is the this is done so whatever you have to means read from console that part is done then you have to call these two methods here you can see create solution method implement static right okay to static method okay this method will take two parameters with main method implement to static method in solution class okay and this method you have to call from main method okay in the above calculated percentage method will take string parameters before returning the object classification should try these attributes should calculate it on the base okay return value is null here you can see that if the return value is null then it should print no vessels naval vessels is available okay so inside main we will call this method okay so here for first one it will return the in uh, some integer so int suppose i am writing result int result equal to we are calling this method okay find this method we are calling so result equal to here remove this so we are passing the arrays this array and the percentage okay so now we are implementing these two methods okay so if you go here you can see in the first one this method will to take two input parameters okay then we'll average of the number of voyages completed attribute of the naval vessel subject which meets the percentage requirement so first you have to calculate this percentage okay so as percentage equal to number of this is completed so this part you have to do so first here if you go to this method okay in table then you have to write on for loop for int i equal to 0 okay i less than 4 and then i plus plus so for each iteration what we will do we will calculate the percentage okay so first we will calculate this percentage so int suppose percentage equal to in percentage equal to so you have to calculate this one so get okay so this is your array nb array so first take this one i okay nb array dot get number of voyages completed okay so number of voyages completed then star 100 multiply with 100 and then divide by number of voyages planned okay so this one dot get number of voyages planned okay so in this way you have to first calculate this percentage okay and after that if the above calculation percentage is greater than or equal to the percentage passed by the parameter okay then the object should participate in the average calculation okay if there are no object with this method criteria then the method should return zero okay so if this is okay so if this percentage so here what we will write so if this 
if this percentage greater than equal to greater than equal to okay if the above calculated percentage is greater than or equal to the percentage passed if it is greater than equal to then what we will do we will calculate the participate in the average calculation okay greater than or equal to past parameter then the object should participate in the average calculation if there is no object okay average of the number of voyages completed okay so here you can see the method will return the average of the number of voyages completed okay so here what we will do avg equal to avg plus avg plus nv array nv array i dot get number of voyages completed okay so first we are calculating this and here we are taking one int count equal to zero and if this is done then we are doing count plus plus okay so first we are adding those get number of voyages completed okay and we are counting the values means how many times this part is executing and after this loop avg equal to you have to calculate the average so avg by count average by count so this average we are returning okay so if it's part means if no ma matching condition is there so average would be zero okay so here uh, we are uh, dividing by count so here you have to check one thing otherwise it will be if it's zero then it will divide by zero and you will get the exception so here you have to check if i greater than zero okay then i will perform this if i greater than zero i greater than zero then we will calculate average sorry the not i count if count greater than zero then we will perform this part okay otherwise if in this part is not executed means uh, not single time then count is zero and if you try to average equal to average by count so if you try to divide by zero then you will get the arithmetic exception okay so that will not be the case so in this way we are calculating this average okay and in the second part if we if the above calculated percentage is greater than or equal to the percentage first okay so this is done then in the second method this method will return the naval vessels object the input string parameter matches with the purpose attribute of the naval vessels object before returning the object okay so first we have to check the naval vessels if it is passes with the purpose okay so in the next one here what we will do here also we are using this array okay here also just copy paste okay and here parts uh, you can see that this method will return the naval vessels object the input string parameter matches with the purpose attribute of the naval vessels okay so first we have to check inside this if if nv array i dot get dot get purpose dot equals dot equals this purpose okay dot equals this purpose so if it equals with this purpose then what we will do it matches before returning the object the classification should be derived as mentioned below the classification uh, the classification value should be assigned to the 
object before returning. If any of the above condition are not met, then the method should return the null. Okay, what is the classification attribute should be calculated based on the percentage calculated method above. So here also you have to calculate the percentage. Okay, so int par. So here we are doing this part, calculating this percentage calculation. just copy it and paste here if this is equal then we are first performing the percentage calculation okay it's offset okay dot equals purpose then we are first calculating the percentage and then this you have to do inside the So first we are calculating the percentage and then if the percentage equal to 100 then classification should be star okay so here we will check if percentage if percentage equal to equal to 100 then what we will do We will set the classification so nb array i dot set classification set classification and we are using star okay so we are sending the star okay so if it is 100 if it is this percentage between 99 to 88 okay then else if else if par greater than sorry then uh, if it is 99 to 80 okay if the percentage in between okay if the percentage in between this is not is it is in between 99 and 80 okay so if percentage if par less than equal to 99 or par greater than equal to 80 okay 99 and 80 then it will print leader then you have to set classification as this and here the value would be leader okay later then else if you know you are using else if and if it is 79 and 55 okay so here just write 79 and if it is greater than equal to 55 55 then set classification is inspire okay then set classification inspire and otherwise the classification would be strike else this can be a day this classification is strike okay so this value you have to set based on the percentage calculation okay so once this is done that means if one object is matched with this criteria then you can break okay you can break and before break before breaking here copy the nv nv equal to nv array so means this object we are copying in the nv and we are sending this nv okay so if this is null that means no condition is matched if any condition is matched with this then we are setting the classification based on the percentage and we are copying that object into nv and we are returning that nv that means this object will means particular that object will be returned okay from this method okay so this is done then 
inside the main method we will check we will call these two methods so the first one i have already written here so int result equal to find int result equal to find average by percentage this one and second one we will call second is the navel vessel okay so here also i am giving the same name navel vessels and giving nv equal to we are calling this method the second method okay and from here we are calling this method Just copy it and paste here array and purpose okay. remove the string okay using these two parameter we are calling and whatever return value we are getting based on the return value we will print the message so print no novel vessel is available okay so here we are applying that if nv okay if nv equal to uh, equal if n b equal to equal to null then we will print this message okay we will print this message that no naval vessels is available with the specified purpose okay so we will print this message and else else we will print else we will print the vessel's name concatenate with classification in the form of vessel's name mod classification okay so else we will print this in the form of that so here first we are writing that nv dot get vessel's name Okay, so vessels mb dot get vessels name plus then we are writing on mod sign and then give the plus again and then nb dot get classification get classification okay so in this format we will print and for the first one it's returning result so here we will check if result equal to equal to zero if result equal to equal to zero then we will print that message and else else we will print so go to assessment again and for the first one here you can see if the return value is zero then it should print there are no voyages completed with this percentage so we are copying this message this message and pasting here okay if it's zero and else it will print the number of voyages completed so that is the result basically so whatever the return value of this method so i will print this method okay for this result now if we execute this with the set of input here you can see the set of input is there okay so let me okay, for output. okay first copy it in the here okay and i am executing it and keeping the values so here you can see 300 Roger and it's give the null. So my here we did a little mistake. So this should be inside this if statement. Okay, this if block. So if this block is means from successfully executed, then we have to copy this object with this variable nv and then you have to break okay so so here it's not or it would be and 
okay so it's not or it would be and okay if it's 100 then it's fine okay so this okay so okay yes mean in superior okay so here you can see it's as many in superior so how it's calculating so fast if you uh, see the code uh, and uh, one minute so let's run it with different set like instead of army just give some xyz okay so this is not included so at that case you will get that message okay so no novel vessels is available with the specified purpose okay so that message you will get so okay so i am explaining this how it will work because uh, suppose while you are using army so So while you are using army, so how it will, so we are sending this set of values, okay. So here it's army means th this is the purpose, it's matching with this purpose, then it calculate the percentage, okay. And the percentage value, okay, it uh, calculating the percentage values here. So if the percentage is 100, then it will uh, set the classification as star, if percentage is uh, means in between 99 and 80 then it's leader and if it's 79 to 55 then it's inspirer okay inspirer so it's inspirer means inspirer means so th this classification will set based on the percentage okay and here we are checking that get purpose also okay so it matches purpose so here this is the matching condition so purpose is army so this is the matching condition basically 330 yes mean okay this is the matching condition so based on that it will give the yes mean and uh, um, the calculated percentage value is in between 70 in between this 79 and 55 so it is inspirer okay giving this message and in the first case means while it calling the first one so we are also sending the percentage values so here we are sending the percentage values as 75 so based on the percentage values uh, it's also calculate the percentage and if this percentage is greater than then it's counting the average okay so 75 means uh, in what cases percentage is 75 so which one is percentage uh, okay here we are providing percentage is 75 so 75 greater than means here uh, one minute here what is the percentage which one purpose and then percentage percentage we are sending and calculated percentage we are calculating okay so that's you have to check for each one okay because uh, percentage how it will calculate it's the get number of voyages completed start 100 divided by number of voyages planned okay so uh, based on that these two values it will calculate the percentage and then it's calculating the average and giving that ever returning the average and we are printing here if it's equal to equal to zero then we are printing this message and if it's not then it's printing this average value okay so this is the code so once again i am explaining this so first we are creating a naval vessel class with these attributes then we have written the setter and getter methods okay and here you can see this is the parameterized constructor okay this is the parameterized constructor we have created then from the main method we are creating the four naval vessels object okay and storing in a nv array okay naval vessels array okay and uh, taking the um, values of those parameters or variables from console okay and storing creating one in four um, consecutive for loop means um, iteration we are creating four object and storing in nv array okay then we are taking the percentage values okay as input and the purpose okay then we are calling these two methods find voyages by with this array and percentage values 
and this uh, we will check means calculate whatever percentage calculation is there so uh, here you can see this is the percentage calculation formula is there so we are calculating the percentage for each object okay and uh, checking if this person is the calculated percentage is greater than equal to this percentage then we are here you can see Hmm. Here we are calculating percentage is greater than equal to this percentage. Then we are performing the average. Okay, average of those object. Okay, um, basically it's a get number of voyages completed, average of these values. Okay, so calculating and sending this value and based on the return value we are printing this message. And for the second one also we are um, calling with this array and the purpose value and if the array object okay is containing this purpose then we are per first performing the percentage values and based on the percentage values we are setting the classification okay and returning that object okay and inside this main method based on whatever return object we are getting based on that we are printing the get vessels name and get classification in the form of means we are concatenating these two and here we are using one um, means person sign okay so this is the code okay hope you can understand this okay so if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel also you can share with your friends and in the description box you can see the channel link is there so you can go there and in my channel i am basically uh, describing all means tcs proctor assessment and also code java advanced java and web project related topics so you can go there and watch relevant topics and also if you like my channel so you can click on the bell icon so that once you upload the next video you will get the notification thanks for watching this